Hi, this is Witch Nikki, and I'm in my bra because I just added color to my hair. And I didn't want it getting on any of my shirts. I don't have any shirts that I wanted to get spots of purple. <laughs> it's either got to be all purple or none. Um, so I did this myself, and um, this is the kind that I get that I have right here. Michelle gave it to me for Christmas and I'm finally getting a chance to use it. Um, I don't know, it's going to be backwards. It's got to be with two dots over the L. Go, go to be, got to be, whatever. Uh, creative, let's get creative. It suggests that you use um, this product here to lighten your hair first because that it works better on blondish hair. Well, I'm not totally blonde. I have a lot of gray and white, so I'm not doing this um, to cover up how old I am. <laughs> you could tell pretty much that age is catching up with me but anyways this is for fun it was a gift um some of you who've seen me for so many years have seen me with a a reddish or color or um, burgundy so I'm going to pause for now because I have a little under 30 minutes to come back. But um, I already threw it away, but it had like a little tub tray thing and a brush thing to mix the two, um, the brilliant color and the pastel if you wanted to do some pastel thingies. But the pastel said to leave it in for five to ten minutes and the, the other one said you're going to leave it in for about a 20 25 30 minutes and um so i'm not gonna fool around with that i'm not a professional here so um yeah this is for fun we all need a little bit of fun and uh frivolity in our lives when we're going through such m misery and bullshit. Um, so let me pause this for under 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you more or less. I've I started putting on my bangs and stuff and then I just thought I'm just gonna flip it back and then apply it like this and then into my ends like I said I didn't really want to go for that blondish stuff and go blonde and then put that stuff into it I'm not as young as some of you young girls out there so you got really good strong young hair go ahead go for it um me I'm kind of just lucky I'm just even doing this much. So, um, I'll let you see how it turns out. Hi, still here waiting. I thought I would talk a little bit. <laughs> um, since we're all, most all of us who have any kind of connections going on with anything, um, are video chatting uh, with working from home, school, um, mental health, our doctors, everything nowadays is kind of going online. How are you doing with that? Are you doing okay? I want to know because my granddaughter, who's 11, is having a tough time with it. She used to be um, one of those kinds who would uh, help out the teacher, um, 
be friendly with some of the kids. She said that she has trouble um, kind of getting uh, a reading on how kids are. And uh, without going into a lot of details, some of the kids in fourth and fifth grade were um, kind of bullies, not too nice. And so she's being, I think, very selective, but she's having trouble participating more in class. So what do you do when you are you feel kind of, not really shy, but you just don't feel like communicating with people? I get kind of used to it because, like, here we are, I, we... I don't know who's out there right now, but I'm here, and I maybe she just needs practice talking in front of the, the uh, video thing, and just make a video of her chatting, even by herself. I don't know, but any helpful hints out there would be really be nice. So, um, let me see. I think I got another minute-ish to um, my alarm. My Google thingy is going to make an alarm in a minute. So I'm trying not to show my cleavage and bosoms area. Even though I have a, a bra on and it. I'm just, I guess, old-fashioned-ish type. Um, you know. Ah! So Ginger um, just about burst in the door. <laughs> kind of made me nervous. So, anyways. The Google thing said it was going to go off. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I'll be back. <laughs> wow, huh? Where it's really purple is where how much of a lighter white grayish color I had. And then it just kind of, it, it went in so you could see it really good. So... I have wanted purple hair for a long time. See, like this part right here, a lot of my whites were coming through here, through this area here, and through here. I'm not even outside. I'm just, and my room's dark, but you could see even in the dark, darker ones, because I had whites all the way through it. And I don't really know too much about bleaching and all of that business. So I didn't want to go there with my hair. And I'm in my 60, 61. So I didn't really want to go there. Because I, I don't want a lot of damage. Now, this didn't have, you know, when you buy in the store, um, I don't even want to name names, but you can buy them in the store somewhere. Um, you have the one bottle of um like a bleachy stuff or whatever that really stinks like ammonia <laughs> and then you pour in the cream stuff into it you have to snip the top and all of that this did this just had one tube i wish i saved it but it was all crinkled up and purple <laughs> it came with the gloves and the brush i just i should have saved the brush <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd come outside. I went and saved the brush. I'm not a pack rat. I just like saving things that I could use again. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yeah. I mean, sure, if I had gone for that 
bleach out my hair look, but it's purple enough for me. You know, ever since I was a little girl in church, we had these little old ladies that had their hair, you know, in that little cut and looking so nice with purple hair. Always had like a lavender hair, like a light lavender tinge to it or tint to it. Sorry. And um, I always wondered how they did that. And I just thought, when you grow old, do you, does your hair turn like that? Lavender? <laughs> Anyways, it does look much better. What do you think? What do you think? Mm, poor Lucifer. Poor, not Lucifer, sorry. <laughs> Lucifer's still on my mind, but poor Boogers lost one of his teeth. Yeah, lost one some time ago. We never saw it. But when I went for his, um, <laughs> I had to sneeze. Um, when I went to feed him one day, he had, there was something extra in his bowl, and I was like, you don't have to leave me a tip. <laughs> it was his tooth. It had come all the way down. It was hanging over like his bottom lip. So I just thought, what the heck is going on here? But the next day, there it was in his dish. So now, he can't bite people too much anymore. So he doesn't even want me looking at his teeth. He says no. But yeah, Mama Cat, I saved his tooth okay pause okay so see i washed it off it was in the plastic box and i just kind of dropped it in there there wasn't like a lot of trash or anything on it but i washed all the color off of it because at first i thought that i was just supposed to use it and i went like this through my hair but it's kind of if you want to use the other stuff that's called pastel and I didn't use it. I don't know what's gonna what it would do by itself, but I think it kind of changes this color to a lighter pastelish color. See, so I didn't use it because I wanted it. I wanted it like this. Thank you, Michelle. I love you, my girls. For Christmas and birthday anytime they want to give me a gift they want to give me something that will bring tears to my eyes make me cry <clears throat> not in a bad way but they used to kind of almost seem like they were having a, a challenge to see who could get the gift that was going to bring the most tears to my eyes <laughs> um, This kind of did at first, but now that I've done it, I just said, hey, I'm going to do this. And I did, and I'm glad I did. And um, it kind of brought tears to my eyes that, um, like happy tears, <clears throat> but not quite because I was just so happy. So, if you want to do something that's a little bit off the wall or away from whatever you want to do, if it's fun and playful like this, then just do it. Hey, I made these. You know what? I made so many earrings that I have. I'll never have to go earringless. In fact, I almost want to get more holes so I could just wear it like that and it'll be like wind chimes or something, but it'll be too heavy. But, hey, there we go. It makes a little bit of a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> and it still looks pretty good with my hat. I wanted to try to, I can't do one of those TikTok things where, suddenly boom you know I throw a, my towel off my head or my um, hat off my head and there we go I'm I'm beautiful <laughs> that's for all them young girls out there but you know what um, 
this is the perfect time to just go a little bit crazy. We're not crazy crazy, but a fun crazy, like having fun type of a thing. And if you have to do Zoom that's professional and stuff like that, just put a hat on if you don't want to show your new colors. Doesn't that look cute? <laughs> this is my, um, I'll say kitty cat. But it kind of has the color um, tones on it. <clears throat> See that? So it's kind of, and they're kind of roundish. So it's kind of more like um, a Pokemon type. A Pikachu type, but a different color. But doesn't that look cute? And then if you don't want it to show at all, you just bring this down. Put your hair back in a ponytail. And there you go. Nobody's going to notice. Because they say, why do you got a cap on? Because I want to. It's cold in here. And I'm keeping myself, my body warm. Yesterday, Ginger's PE teacher said, if you want to keep your body warm, put a cap on and socks on your feet. It works. Um, so you can put like any kind on there. I like the way it kind of gives me like this brilliance, you know. And this is it. This is it, folks. It's not coming off. It's not, you could tell it's not a wig. It's the same hairstyle that I had before I started. I'm sorry I couldn't show the whole thing, but you just have to take my word for it. Um, don't let... There's, I threw away the piece of paper already, but there's a piece of paper with all kinds of language. Don't get all confused with it, okay? Mostly what you do is you look and you, you take the, um, the one that says the color on it, okay? Um, you put the gloves on, and you can put um, around your hairline, like around here, um, <clears throat> Vaseline, but I didn't have any, so I just use a little bit of cream here and there. It works okay, you know, like hand cream, body cream, whatever you got, you know. <clears throat> so there's all these different ways that you could do it. I don't really know. Oh, this is strands. See, if you look closely, you're gonna see the strands. I'm not that fancy. I'm not going to try stuff like that. And then you got this ombre, what it says ombre. So I guess it's like gradual. And then the um, full head. All the words are backwards, so you're not going to see it very well. See that? Like I said, it's backwards. So try to take a moment. Um, Swarsikoff. Cough. And let me see if it has any kind of um, made in Salvania. Okay. Um, questions about the color? Okay. www.swartzakoff.com. S C H W A R Z K O P F dot com <clears throat> but I believe she found this on um, Amazon what an, a nice little pick me up gift I was kind of surprised to see it but and also because her dad was in the room because you know if you don't know we live together in the same house his house and I'm like a roommate here so um, he says, you know, when I opened it up, he's like, hair color, what are you trying to say? You know, like that, kind of making fun, but let the men know. He's actually pretty uh, blackish hair for his age. I mean, he's got some salt and pepper through it, but he always keeps his hair cut pretty trim, so you really don't notice, but... His family on the female side have, and even his dad, have all have all gone um, 
prematurely gray, um, like in their 30s, maybe even 20s. So I kind of wish that my hair had gone like all white because imagine how purple. Even her hair is kind of dark. You kind of see it. Um, her brown, not browns, but the darker color through it. But it's not going to be like this unless you do that thing on here and make your hair blonde, which it says using this product, which is one of their, you have dark hair, no problem. You've got to be lightened to pre-lighten your hair. <clears throat> I just don't know how safe that is for hair that's my age. They say that your hair will just keep growing. And I didn't do this because I'm ashamed of my gray hairs. I just wanted a change. Okay. Um, I've just added a color to my gray hairs. See? It's still all there. It's just got color now. I really, I really don't care what people think about that. Um, you know, like I said, if I had, you know, uh, a lift done, see how normal my neck would be. And look at how much, look at how much uh, work I'd have to have done. See that? And I'm just not going for it because I had a doctor, my doctor for dermatology for my um, cancer moles. <clears throat> he was like that. He always looked like he was, you know, so plastic. I could sit here like this, pull my face taunt like this. And then, look at that. Even my lips look better. <laughs> Somebody give me some tape. <laughs> you know, there were girls, Asian girls, in my high school that used to um, take a little bit of tape and put it across their eyes to give them a fold like like most American eyes have. And I just thought that was so, not to be mean, but kind of hilarious. I was just like, because I was always like, oh, they have such pretty eyes. But they're always like, oh, she has such pretty eyes. She wants, they wanted to copy it, so they um, put little bits of tape, like went strips. Back in the day, that's what they used to do. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of it, it's kind of sad if you do something to change the way you look because you um, feel bad about it. You feel so bad that you want to go through that. That's not what this is. I was feeling pretty good about the change of my hair. Going from the colors that it has been to gray, I was fine. Um, I've never been one to color to hide the gray. It's just what happens when I choose a color that's fun and I want to do. Um, it's just what happens. It covers everything up. You know, what am I going to do? Put like wrap up the grays and like I said I'm just I'm not really good at doing that kind of stuff leave the you know what am I going to do put the grays back in I would really like actually you know to have some kind of gray highlights or something you know I wish that they would come in really cool like wouldn't it be kind of cool if they were going like this or something or I don't know one side or you know. <laughs> um so anyways this is the new color of let me see how long says this 
Okay, how long does this last? Um, selection guide. Oh, this one is 12 to 15 washes. So in a while you'll be seeing it kind of leaving. So it's just a temporary thing that you want to do to see if it would look better if you would like it like that. And <clears throat> this is called 94 Perky Purple. It, oh, it's going to be backwards, but that's what it says right here. Perky Purple. Creative Semi-Permanent Hair Color 94. Zero 94 or just 94, I suppose. Perky Purple. And um, it did not smell bad at all. I was sitting in here, I was like, it didn't smell bad. And it comes with a conditioner that really smells good too. But it didn't have that ammonia, ammonia, the that terrible smell that most dyes that you buy in the store do. Um, I don't know if you can buy this in the store or not. I just know that Michelle does a lot of her shopping um, on Amazon because she works for Amazon. And so why not support it? You know, um, a lot of people are so negative about Amazon, but I'm not here today to talk about that. That's just foolishness that people aren't understanding. Okay. There's not like a lot of little teeny tiny businesses out there <clears throat> that, I mean, I'm sure there is that sell hair dyes and stuff like that. But when you're exchanging money electronically, don't you want somebody that you can trust rather than just some little mom or pop type place online somewhere that you don't know, you're not familiar with their <clears throat> return policies, you're not, you don't know about their um, security for banking and stuff like that. So... I go with Amazon, too, for a lot. I buy my vitamins and supplements on there. I buy my beads and um, everything that I really can't buy in a market, I buy on Amazon. Except for um, dog food and cat food, I do uh, support uh, Chewy.com. So... <clears throat> Do something to give you a little uplift, whether it's your hair color or nails or make some earrings or anything, whatever, whatever floats your boat, do it because you could either float your boat or you could sink. You could go down like the Titanic. So um, that's what we have to do through all of this. Stay afloat. Okay. Time for me to let go of this and send it through the uh, the Wi-Fi trail to YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.